Hi, I'm Dr. Katie, and this is Hey Doc. If you're new here, welcome. And for all of our returning subscribers and followers, thank you for your support. Here on Hey Doc, we ask that you show your love by hitting the like button and clicking the subscribe button. That way it will help to spread this important and relevant medical knowledge that we share here on this channel. So thank you for your support. I am certain that one of the reasons why you clicked on this video is due to these four words, lower blood pressure naturally. Before we go into discussing what these measures are, let's define what high blood pressure is. You are considered to have high blood pressure if your average reading is more than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury. Now, why do I say average reading? This is because you will find that blood pressure readings fluctuate every time you take a measurement. Sometimes they are normal and sometimes they are high. You can tell what your average blood pressure is in two ways. The first is to organize a 24 hour blood pressure monitoring measurement. This is a machine that is fitted onto your body for a 24 hour period. And most machines will measure your blood pressure every two hours during that 24 hour period. The advantage of using this method is that you come to know what your average blood pressure is only after one day. The second way to know what your average blood pressure is, is to use a home blood pressure monitoring system. With the system, you will normally have your own blood pressure that you would have bought from a pharmacy or online, a reliable blood pressure machine at home that you will use to measure your own blood pressure twice a day for a period of four to seven days. The ideal would be that you would use an A4 piece of paper to record what your blood pressure measurements are each time you take it during those four to seven days. You will then bring these values to your doctor who will then assess your readings and be able to work out what your average blood pressure is from all of your measurements. If most of your readings are over 140, over 90 millimeters of mercury, then you are hypertensive. Now, an important disclaimer, even though there is a place for managing high blood pressure naturally, it is not always clinically appropriate to do so, or may even be a health risk for some people. That's to say that some people's blood pressure may be way too high to depend on natural measures alone. So please do consult with your doctor first, to ensure that it is appropriate for you to adopt this natural measure alone in controlling your blood pressure. Hey, I have a key piece of information that many people ignore about high blood pressure, that if you decide to be faithful and stick right through to the end of this video, I will share this important piece of information with you. So stay tuned. Right. Now that we've got this basic information out of the way, let's get into the nitty gritty. The first natural way of controlling your blood pressure is to have a low sodium intake. The World Health Organization recommends consuming less than two grams of sodium per day, which is roughly an equivalent of five grams of salt. The American Heart Association, on the other hand, suggests that the ideal for most adults is 2.3 grams per day. And for those with a history of high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, or kidney disease, it suggests an even lower limit of 1.5 grams per day. Then we have consuming potassium rich foods. Why potassium, I hear you ask? Well, simply because potassium can help counter affect the effect of sodium on the blood pressure. Foods that are high in potassium include bananas, oranges, spinach, and sweet potatoes. Now, please do not go and buy a bunch of these foods and start consuming lots of them in the aim of lowering your blood pressure without checking with your doctor first. 
You have to know if you already have the right amount of potassium. You have to know, first of all, what your baseline potassium is. Is your baseline potassium too high or too low? And your doctor can check that by doing a simple blood test for you. Yes, potassium rich foods can be helpful in helping to lower your blood pressure naturally. However, too much potassium can affect how your heart beats and also affects you if you have kidney disease. Once you have received the all clear from your doctor that your potassium is at the normal level, only then can you increase your intake of potassium rich foods. Reduce your alcohol intake. There are several mechanisms by which high alcohol intake can increase your blood pressure. Dehydration leads to reduced blood volume, which in turn causes the blood pressure to go up in order to maintain the perfusion of vital organs like the brain and the kidneys. Alcohol also increases blood pressure, causing damage to the blood vessel endothelial lining. That's the inner lining of the blood vessels. It also promotes inflammation on the inner lining of the blood vessels. This leads to narrowing and hardening of the blood vessels, which in turn also contributes to increasing the blood pressure. Here is the recommendation for alcohol intake, which is considered medically reasonable. It is advised that both men and women drink no more than 14 units of alcohol per week. This guideline is based on the concept of spreading your alcohol consumption over the entire week. This picture gives us an idea of how many units is contained in different types of alcohol drink. Let's remember that different types of alcohol, spirit, beer, lager, even with the same volume will result in different amounts of units for the same volume. I'd like to share another Bible scripture with you. Proverbs chapter three, verse seven to eight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Our intellect is nothing compared to that of God who created us. Human wisdom falls far below God's wisdom and leads to false assumptions. Only God has all the answers and the power to bring all that you need to pass as long as it is in accordance to his plans for your life. The promise that we have for forsaking evil is health and nourishment for our physical body. But the emphasis here is that this is only possible through our reverence of God alone. I pray that this scripture blesses your spirit and your soul in Jesus' name. Supplements. Now, remember to speak to your doctor before taking these. These supplements include fish oil, including those rich in omega-3, and coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10 occurs naturally in cells of our bodies, and these help to lower our blood pressure through their anti-inflammatory properties, through vasodilatation properties, and they allow the cells lining our blood vessels to function better, and they reduce the thickness of our blood, making it more easy to flow through our blood vessels. Now, to the key piece of information I promised you earlier. Did you know that there are different grades of high blood pressure? There's grade one, which is considered to be mild and is a blood pressure reading of 140 over 90 to 159 over 99. Then we have grade two high blood pressure, which is considered to be moderate and this ranges from 160 over 100 to 179 over 109. Then we have grade three, which is considered to be severe hypertension, which is any value which is over or equal to 180 over 110. 
these measures that we've discussed in this video that look at how to measure your blood pressure naturally are only likely to be effective if your blood pressure is in the range of grade one, which is mild hypertension. But if you have moderate to severe hypertension, which is grade two or grade three, these measures are still going to be relevant, but you are more likely to need pharmaceutical medication to control your blood pressure. Again, speak to your doctor. That's it guys. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.